You better watch out. Santa's not a guy. If you get the pronoun wrong, they'll be telling you why. Tranny Claus is coming to town. They're making a fist. They're clinching it twice. Slip it in a butthole like you're slipping on ice. <laughs> Tranny Claus is coming to town. They know when you've been drinking. They know when you do drugs. And if you do both of those things, you'll be getting lots of hugs. Gay! You better watch out. Santa's not a guy. If you get the pronoun wrong, they'll be telling you why. Tranny Claus is coming to town. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking A, man. Awesome. <laughs> What's up, booze heads? Welcome back to a semi-merry Christmas guy party pod. Ho ho ho! <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to all and to all a booze night. Yes. <laughs> this is beautiful, Brad. This is Chester, and we hope you all had a great Christmas. Yeah, it is a couple days after Christmas. Yep. How was your Christmas? It was, um, I can't complain, it was pretty excellent. Just, uh, we got snowed in, I bought, uh, like, three cases of beer before we got snowed in and just lay drunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, um, we did go out to Amber's grandmother's house for Christmas Eve, we had some drinks, mm -hmm. and then I came back and still had a few presents to wrap, so... I took some edibles and uh, proceeded to rap and write really goofy shit on the tags. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, here in Cincinnati, we got hit with an ice storm. I think it was, I don't know, the 23rd, 22nd, maybe? 20, 22nd, yeah. Yeah, it was Thursday. So, when you went to the grandparents' house... That was on Saturday. Was... The roads? Oh, yeah. Were they? Because, like, dude, the roads around here were kind of shit. Uh, some of it was shit, yeah. Because um, we went out and did some Christmas shopping. We went out to, like, Florence and, and stuff. But, yeah, the thing that was crazy was that, like, a lot of uh, the roads were... Some, some of the roads were okay. Some of the roads still had a little bit of snow on them. But it was fine. Um, but the parking lots, none of the parking lot. Nobody plows their parking lots anymore. Yeah. I think they looked ahead to today's forecast, and they were like, well, <laughs> I'm not going to pay that kind of money. Yeah, true that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't know when you guys will be listening to this or where you guys are located, but December 22nd, we got hit with an ice storm. Like, it, we dropped into the negatives. My heat couldn't even keep up. Yeah, it was awful. It was fucking cold it was mm -hmm. brutal the wind i mean everything was frozen like the actual temperature i think got down to at one point like seven below nine below somewhere in there yeah it, and then that was that was without the wind chill so yeah and we were gonna meet that night when the ice storm hit mm -hmm. to do the tranny claws episode but literally like the world sh it shut down it was bad mm -hmm. it's a week later and me and chester just hung out on the porch and it feels like springtime yeah it's like 55 degrees i think we're gonna hit 60 at some point in the next few days yeah it's, it, it's, it's been it's, awesome it's, it's crazy but you know <laughs> yeah chester and i are we're going to the uh, Bengals bills monday night game Fuck yeah i can't Bloody wait for that day. shit fucking we were worried about it being too goddamn cold that dude almost sold the tickets but then when the uh forecast came out fucking man we might be in t-shirts and shorts hell yeah <laughs> we should do the um the body paint thing hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> except that uh, who all is coming it's crickets you mean crickets and one of his buddies oh yeah like, like we can spell like who d yeah <laughs> <laughs> what can you spell with four dudes <laughs> can we like put one letter on top and then have it go across and then another thing on the on, like on our stomachs <laughs> or we could do g w a r yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Nothing to do with the bangles, but that's all right. <laughs> or we could just do boners for burrow exclamation mark. Exclamation yeah, it, it's mark. like a whole sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Are we gonna do signs? Can you? Do, you can do signs.
coins, right? Or do they confiscate those when you walk in and you have to kind of sneak it in? I'm not sure, because, I mean, you see people with signs. You see people with Zulu signs, but, I mean, do they, like, uh, let me check your sign to make sure it's not inappropriate? Well, I mean, I went to some games last year, and I've never really tried to bring a sign. I don't know. I guess we could try to find out. (laughs) Yeah, but would they, like, revoke our ticket or something? Possibly. So, yeah, yeah, we don't want to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try to sneak in cheese conies. Yeah. For real. <laughs> Let's just, like, put them in our pants pocket. <laughs> We're going to have to pay $5 per. <laughs> just wear a big trench coat, open it up, and just fucking line with cheese conies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Got all the chili all the driven chili through the driven. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, like, a chili trail behind me as I'm walking up to the seat. <laughs> you imagine if you ran into a motherfucker and he pulled a cheese cone out of his fucking coat pocket? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I think I'd have to introduce him to Guy Party. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, like, out of all my years of cheese coney eating experience, like, mm. you get the, the cheese conies that are really sloppy and falling apart. But have you ever got the ones that kind of, you weren't hungry, you didn't finish them all, you put them in the fridge, and they, they kind of stayed cold and stayed intact? Like, like a cold cheese coney? Well, I mean... I feel like I've eaten a cold cheese coney before. Yeah, I mean, I've eaten a cold cheese coney, but they stay intact. But a lot of the times anymore, I feel like by the time I get them home, the buns are all falling mm. apart because they're just so sopped with chili and shit. And just throw them in the freezer. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The uh, cheese coney fucking pocket coat will only be successful in, like, it, negative that's degrees. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, like, freeze dry them and stick them in there. <laughs> they score touchdowns, you just fucking pulling cheese candies out of your pockets and handing them around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe we could, like, shrink wrap them individually like they're Twinkies. Yeah! <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Skyline Gold Star, your move, buddy. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're, we're making cheese conies, like, pocketable. <laughs> yeah. Fuck shooting uh, t-shirts out of those cannons. Yeah, let's cheese, cheese conies. Boop, boop. <laughs> Hell yeah. And shrink wrap. Like, <laughs> 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 I'd eat a cold coney out of Bengals game. Because you know you're good damn and drunk at that point by the time you get in there. Do you know where we're sitting? It, it's kind of bleeder-ish, but... I've never really had any issues with any bleeder seats, like, ever. I was going to say, if we're, like, in the end zone and, like, Stefan Diggs, like, scores a touchdown, we could just pull a cheese coney out and toss it at him. (laughs) (laughs) Like, yeah, you see those fucking shots of, like, dildos laying on the field. It's just, like, a shrink wrap cheese coney. (laughs) (laughs) Guy party. Or, I I don't know, like, this even better... Like, when our guy, when Jamar Chase scores a touchdown, you know, like, in Green Bay, they do the Lambo leap, mm-hmm. do a cheese coney leap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he, like, jumps up there, and, like, we, like, feed him the cheese coney in his him? mouth. <laughs> yes. Dude shits his pants in the fourth quarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they fucking, like, zoom in on, like, the Amazon Prime fucking video, and he's running, and he's got the white fucking bangle striped pants on. <laughs> you see him just brown? splatter, yeah, just like, <laughs> Amazon replays it like 16 times <laughs> he's, Yeah, he's just running He just slowly starts seeping Fucking brown spot <laughs> But you know what? He gets the touchdown Yeah, that's all that matters That's, it. that's, yeah. that's like a, a sports center top 10 play of the year <laughs> A brown down <laughs> 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 just leaves his shit stain on for the rest of the game yeah. and nobody wants to cover him <laughs> like, it's football baby dig it <laughs> hell yeah I saw somebody like showing like uh, the thing with Tom Brady and it's like did Tom Brady piss his pants and it looked like he took his like a little quarterback towel or whatever and like opened up his pants and kind of wiped a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I mean if you gotta go and you're out there you can't really say hey time out I gotta run to the bathroom right right Kind of makes you wonder, like, how do they... I've seen them do it on the sidelines. Take shits and pisses? I think piss, but I don't know about shits. Oh, they really? should just have a bucket. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do they put them in a tent or anything? Or they... 
I think they did put him in, the, in a tent one time. Okay, because... I do think that did that. Because they had that concussion tent, you know? Yeah. <laughs> there's, it, yeah, there's a fucking Just concussion. Fucking like, there's, like, a concussion doctor in there <laughs> and, like, a fucking toilet. <laughs> 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 they're, they're trying to get your, like, vitals and shit. Like, what would they use to, like, wake people up from concussions? That little... That, like, light right thing or... or, 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 or yeah, like a popper. Yeah, a popper. <laughs> that's just, like, turds in the fucking boots. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking porta potty yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or make the um like the little tent or whatever the uh the ref has to go in to do the replay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's like the screen and like right below there <laughs> fucking toilet <laughs> that would be smart i mean the ref's got to probably piss at some point too yeah you feel like you'd have to have some kind of like a pre-game ritual if you're a ref or a player where you clean out your colon the night before or something like that. Yeah, I almost wonder, like, because I know my pregame before I go out partying, I take some Pepto tabs, but mm, yeah. do you really want to do that when you're a player? But they, they do get there really early, so maybe, hopefully they work at all. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm sure it's happened. I wonder if, like, a team has ever tried to fuck with another team. Like... The visiting team, like, if it was a team visiting Paycor, we sent them a bunch of, like, fucking Geta <laughs> and cheese conies yeah. and, like, greasy, greasy-ass shit. <laughs> like, like, welcome to Cincinnati. We're happy to have you. <laughs> we have a lot of greasy-ass food, that's for damn sure. Mm-hmm. And then just wait until, like, three-fifths of the starting line isn't currently in the game. Yeah. <laughs> We thought they were going in for a knee injury. They just had to take a fucking shit break because of all the conies they ate pregame. Yeah, I mean, you got to think that if it's a shit, they got to go in the locker room, right? You would think. And I'm sure some motherfuckers are shit they pants. Because if if you're holding it in like, I don't want to leave the game, and you're holding it in and you get hit the right way, oh, it's yeah. coming out. Yeah, yeah, because I mean... Holding the turd, I can barely, like, stand up and talk on the fucking phone. I, I gotta run in and shit. Oh, yeah, like, when you get, like, that... You ever get that that thing where you have, like, bad diarrhea coming, but, like, beforehand, like, you don't even feel it in your stomach yet? You, you start to get the sweats, and, like, you kind of feel nauseous a little bit, like you might, like, puke or something. Yeah. And then you get this, that stomach feeling that, the, I think you call it the gurgle guts. Gur yeah, I feel that a lot when I'm tripping. <laughs> and it's, like, feels a little hot and spicy in your butthole. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> You know, all right, let's talk about Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I had a good one. Uh, Amber made me this thing. Like, she's very crafty. She, I've been, and I've been starting to collect Zippos. So she made me a thing to hold my Zippos, like, like uh, with all these little drawers and compartments and oh, stuff. Really? And it's all painted orange and black, and it's got pictures of Burrow on it and stuff. Fuck yeah! yeah. You have to send me a picture of that. Oh yeah, it's it's cool. And then I got the Zippos in there and room for a lot more so i'm excited about it so you had sent me a picture of a chick like a playboy zippo do you own that or no okay no. i just saw i saw it on amazon gotcha yeah yeah that's yeah, cool looking I, they had a few of those i actually ordered one and then i thought about it for a second and i'm like i can't do that <laughs> like, so i got a question for you so i i feel like i was texting you christmas eve i was really wasted mm. and uh the Bengals game was on and you had said you were out christmas shopping i was out christmas shopping during that the day. Bengals game we couldn't get out on on friday because of the storm. Isn't that what the women are for? <laughs> <laughs> Guy party? <laughs> that is womanish behavior. <laughs> yes, it is. Why were you out there when the Bengals were on? Uh, I, know. I guarantee you was at home watching the Bengals game. Face even invited me out to uh, a sports bar to watch with her, and I, I, I just I knew we, we had to, we had a ton of shit to get done that day. Why didn't you do that pre fucking Bengals game? Because after the Bengals game, we had to go to her grandma's. Well, if you had it all done before. I know. We, we, Man, I was just like, what a sad fella. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I, I will tell you, I honestly, I really, really feel like they do better when I'm not watching. All right, well then don't watch the rest of the year. <laughs> Except that we gotta go to a Buffalo game together. Yeah, I don't know. I know I've watched games that they've won before, but at the same time, it was like... I started, uh, like, turning on the radio uh, and, and listening to it while we were out, like, when we were driving from store to store. So I was listening to it. Here's a question. So, 
I used to listen to the radio a lot and watch the game and just mute it and listen to Lapham and Horde. I like both of them, but they get a lot of flack. So if you've been doing that, how do you feel about Lapham? I know they're homers as fuck, and it might get a little annoying, but I love it. I, You know what? I, I don't mind Horde, but Lapham gets a little <laughs> bit on my nerves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just, I don't know, he just reminds me of... Um, a guy party kind of guy? No, like John Madden. I just, yeah. I, I never really cared for John Madden as a commentator. Yeah. Just kind of dude that would just like throw out some really obvious stuff and just didn't seem like he was getting too in depth. But I don't know. I will say that I, I feel like he's been breaking it down better over the years. So maybe he uh, had been told that. Good it, thing you're not a Cavs fan because there's a dude that uh, color commentates for the um, the Cavaliers, the Cleveland Cavaliers, which is my favorite NBA team because Cincinnati doesn't have one. But mm-hmm. uh, his name's Austin Carr, and he says the dumbest fucking shit. <laughs> He's been concussed quite a bit. It, it, it's obvious as fuck. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess Lapham is kind of, you know, in that boat. I don't know. Who, who's your least favorite commentator? Like, like not just local, but just period. I don't really care for Romo. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like Romo. I think he's got a... God, he just doesn't like the bangles. He's just mm. always shitting on them. I don't know. Yeah. And he always fucks up their names. And she's like, come on, dude. I don't know what they're paying you, but do some prep work or something. I just, I don't know. He's really good at dissecting plays, though. Yeah. But um, a lot of people hate Collinsworth. There was one year I played Madden a lot, and I couldn't deal with his voice anymore. I was at, like, Roosters watching the game, and Mm -hmm. I heard that goddamn voice of Collinsworth come on, and I was like, get me the fuck out of here. I can't do it. But since I haven't been playing Madden, I don't know. He doesn't bother me too much. Uh, Troy Aikman, Joe Buck. Those are another couple I hear a lot of people shit on. Uh, Aikman don't bother me. I feel like Joe Buck is... I don't know why he takes so much hate. I really don't. I, I think he's fine. Like I said, John Madden was the only one that ever kind of got under my skin a little bit, but that, that, that I can think of. Well, Dennis Miller was just an idiotic choice for fucking <laughs> color commentating. <laughs> that was just a stupid-ass experiment. Do you remember that shit when Dennis Miller was on Monday Night Football? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. With, I think with Al Michaels and fucking John Madden. <laughs> like, this is not the right dynamic. I know Whitworth, he's kind of, like, just kind of a guy around the park but he seems like he's being too i I could see him in the fucking booth one day yeah yeah i I like what yeah what about like um like the guys like on cbs on fox like boomer and coach i don't mind them because i usually usually half the time i'm hung over and i'm playing on my phone and watching porn i don't pay much attention (laughs) yeah (laughs) but i know boomer used to be a bangle hater and i kind of like that he's came around so Yeah, um, Bill Cower, I mean, I just kind of don't like him because I fucking hate the Steelers, but, I, I mean, it doesn't. it's not like he's a bad host or whatever. Yeah. For some reason, I never minded Cower. He always kind of reminded me of my dad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. And, I guess and, and for that reason, you don't mind him? Well, <laughs> yeah, good point, good point. Who <laughs> <laughs> that guy party? <laughs> Fucking Terry Bradshaw seems like he has dementia sometimes. Yeah, and then I think it might be about time for him to call it a day. Uh, what are they on Fox? Yeah, and then you got Jimmy Johnson always down there in Florida with his fucking awesome base tan and that white ass hair fishing yes. and shit. Like he don't even come to the studio anymore. He's just like, hey, down here in the Keys, fucking <laughs> with all these fine women. <laughs> Fuck it, hey, back to you, boom. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that'd be a dope job. You sit there and just talk about football. I don't have the knowledge, really, about... I don't have that real inside knowledge of the game. Hey, win some championships, and yeah, they'll they'll pay you to sit in Florida. Like, uh... What's his face? The coach Burrow had at LSU. They they fired him, but he was under contract, so they, like, paid him, like, $20 million to go away, Mm because after the Burrow thing, he just, you know, went to hell, and... You see videos of him down there in the Keys walking around, being all 60 with no shirt on, just living his best life. Yeah. It's like, fucking A, man. All right, so yeah, enough of football. Let's talk titties. Let's talk titties. So, anybody listening, January 14th is one of our homeboys, Bloom's 50th birthday party. We are talking possibly two strippers. Oh, two. I know. Like, God damn, how much money you got, motherfucker? <laughs> all right, all right. Do we know what they look like? All right, so here's the text I've got from Luke. So he says, uh, it will be a... Okay, no problem. Do you want one girl or two girls? What's the rate for two? 
And then um, I, I didn't get the raid. Okay, what time would you like them to show up? You can book two and change to one if needed. Just let us know. Okay, I'll give a notice prior if I need to downsize. They can show up at like 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. So if there's a Bengals playoff game, there will not hopefully be any interference. If there is, whatever. But if I can get one dressed gothic and one dressed schoolgirl with big pigtails, he will be in heaven. Fuck yeah. January 14th, Saturday. I hope the Bengals are playing that Sunday, man. Man, I feel like if you're going to um, go for two, like you got to make them. Well, I guess schoolgirl and goth is pretty different, but I'm thinking like one black girl, one white girl, yeah. like one midget, one uh, tall girl. He's a big Asian fan. So, mm. so we try to get Asians and when we hit up a few strip clubs there's just no Asians yeah, like uh, yeah not yeah. a lot of Asians in Claremont yeah <laughs> and I mean Asians are I feel like uh, Shire or something. Like, do you see that many Asian strippers? No, nah, they're usually working like, at Quick Walk. <laughs> <laughs> Getting canceled. <laughs> Merry Christmas to Tranny Claus. <laughs> or a uh, positive stereotype. They're like busting it out like as a scientist or a doctor or something. Well, I mean, a lot of them are. Yeah. Yeah. Like or. Well, no, I was going to say computers, but that's more like Indians. Yeah, 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 a lot of Indians. A lot of Indians in that in that field. Yeah, <laughs> I work with a lot of them. Oh, yeah, I bet you do. They're, they're, they're talented people. Yeah, it's hard to understand them. Yeah, I mean, they're very... I, and I'm not even saying that in a demeaning way. It's mm. like, it's it really is, like, their accent is just hard on my ears. Like, I, like not like, oh, my God, I, it, it hurts. It, it, I just can't understand them. Yeah, where we work at, it would drive us nuts. How we work, they create tickets. Like, so a, a ticket, if somebody puts a ticket in, it's a job that needs to be done. Sure. And um, it, when the Indians would put in the tickets, nobody would touch the motherfuckers. <laughs> and the manager would just piss, like, is anybody going to grab this shit? I'm like, dude, we don't understand them. Like, this is like four-hour calls just trying to tell the motherfucker element OP, yo. Mm-hmm. But we luckily hired an American that speaks Indian, so that's... Fucking goat shit. He, he, he gets he gets all those. Yeah, yes. Here you go, bro. Here you go. Take them all. Suck him. Fucking lifesaver you are. Yeah. God damn it. We need to get one of those. But January 14th, booze heads at the fucking the dude sanctuary. Bloom's 50th. Come out. Fucking let's party down, bros. Mm -hmm. What are the chances uh, Michael Benjamin shows up and pees on someone? You know, Michael Benjamin has been officially banned from the dude sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> Not my call, but Michael Benjamin brought it on himself. That's true. Yeah, I can't. I mean, he, he should have seen the lifetime ban coming. Yeah, I mean, you don't pee on somebody in their own house and think you're going to be welcome back. I'm sorry right. if you're listening to this, Michael Benjamin, but there's nothing I can do for you. Especially like well i don't know luke only ever peed on feet <laughs> like yeah I, i've never seen him like just like pee on somebody's back yeah just like their whole body right yeah <laughs> it's just kind of like yeah hey, here's a little pee ha 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 you can wash it off and you right know, it's usually summertime this was summertime but this was in his house all over his back as he had a stripper's vagina in his face <laughs> yeah so i mean party <laughs> fell yeah i mean that's just like Roll the shame reel. Yep. <laughs> but that is, that is the shame reel. <laughs> oh, God, that night is a special, like, for all of us, the shame reel. <laughs> it, it'll never be forgotten. I, I was at a Christmas party earlier this month, and it got brought up. Just, I mean, this this will be one that never dies. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we wanted. <laughs> I mean... That's true. Depends who you talk to, but yeah, this is this is one that will never be forgotten. Fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> and it's launching. It's something, too, so that's really cool. Yeah, uh, Luke gave the blessing for Guy Party Fest 1 fucking... Uh, well, I guess, do we call it 1 or 2? I guess it's a continuation, but now we'll just... I think... I would say two. Yeah, yeah, I would too. I would too. It's yeah. Guy Party Fest One was Guy Party Fest One, <laughs> aka Chester's Bachelor Party. Yeah, yeah. So the only thing he requested was uh, no bologna this year because <laughs> apparently it smelt so awful in the summer heat and all the fucking bot flies. He said, <laughs> "Oh God, okay, fair enough. We can come up with some other kind of a bologna." Thing. Yeah, yeah, like maybe pudding or KY. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I don't know. It's something weird. <laughs> Dunk tank. All right, but with this being kind of our postponed Christmas special, we've got a story to tell. But before we 
tell the story? Do we want to? Do you want to do the gift exchange? Now? Yeah, let's do the let's gift do, exchange. Let's do it. Okay, so Chester and I got each other some guy party gifts. We wanted to keep it around a ten dollar fucking minimum. So uh, here we go. Let's party, guy party. <laughs> oh, and, and the um, idea here was to get something that was essential to guy party. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, like the epitome of guy party. Exactly, right. something guy party esque. Right. And we both, we both, neither one of us got gift bags. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're opening them out of like Meyer bags and Jungle Gym bags. Oh, dude, <laughs> this is. Oh, yeah! I got a pound of bologna and some Huda Ball! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, boy! I got, I got some fucking mushrooms! <laughs> yeah. This is more than $10, isn't it? It doesn't matter. I know somebody that has a bunch, so... Alright, I want to deal with them. Fair <laughs> enough, dude. Enjoy the bologna and beer. I will. Bologna and beer, baby. That's all I, a, a booze head could ask for. That's right, dude. Bologna and beer. <laughs> What's that motherfucker, uh, Walker, Wild Walker, or whatever, the, the country guy that makes all the crazy uh, fucking songs? We need one. Bologna and beer. <laughs> Fuck it, hey, dude. I was, um... At Walgreens on Christmas Day, because you know on Christmas Day not much is open, but fucking Walgreens is open. Mm. Um, and I was getting stuff for Amber because she was sick, and I was getting myself a bottle of bourbon. And uh, the guy in front of me had a fucking like a case of Bud Light in one hand and a pack of bologna in the other. <laughs> <laughs> that was all he had. It's a guy party. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, dude, that guy gets it. Priorities. <laughs> When the uh, winter storm came in, we, we ate a bunch of mushrooms, and uh, dude, look, look the size of those caps. I see that shit, dude. Yeah. That is fucking crazy. You're going to have a good time. Probably not going to get two people fucked up. Oh, yeah, I didn't think yeah, so. Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, when you have a, a late night, maybe yeah, pop some mushrooms and we'll try to watch some Andor. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I party. <laughs> It'll be a way different show than everyone else watches. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? What a great guy party Christmas. Guy party! Guy party! <laughs> Bologna slices and hoot a pull. <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> the essentials, baby. That's right. <laughs> Let me, um, so I, I did, I, I, this was my idea and I, I bought a gift in, in thinking of it and totally forgot to bring it. So I can at least show you the gift that I was going to bring if I can get my Amazon account pulled up here. <laughs> Come on, keep going. God, I ordered so much from this fucking place. Do you end up ordering a bunch of shit from Amazon, too? Oh, all the time, dude. It's just so convenient. It just shows up at your door, like, sometimes a day later. All right, well, my phone's not cooperating. Let's get to Tranny Claus. Shall we? To Tranny Claus. All right, Tranny Claus. Tranny Claus. So, I'm assuming you'll attach the song? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we got to build some mythos here, right? Yes. All right, so we got to figure out how Tranny Claus came to be. How Tranny Claus came to be. <laughs> here comes Tranny Claus, here comes Tranny Claus, right down Tranny Claus Lane. <laughs> so, being that everything got postponed, and you had mentioned something uh, earlier about Tranny Claus comes on January 7th because of meth abuse and everything. Okay, so let's start with a really important one. Okay. What pronoun are we using for training clubs? <laughs> are we using she? What about... Uh, they? They. Uh, they, them, um, it, it is... I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it three. Tranny Claus. <laughs> <laughs> right down Tranny Claus Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking some meth and getting repossessed. <laughs> right. She no longer, or excuse me, it no longer has a sleigh. <laughs> 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 Santa Claus does all his business in one night, but Tranny Claus takes three months. <laughs> here comes Tranny Claus, here comes Tranny Claus. <laughs> Tranny Claus goes door to door. <laughs> breaks through a window, gets in your kitchen, and pees on your floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got to get some mythos going. So, okay, so tra uh, Santa Claus, you leave milk and cookies. Mm -hmm. You got to leave like meth and um, <laughs> PBR. Yeah, and I feel like not a lot of Americans are doing meth. Like, if you hit the trailer park, you probably get a lot of meth, and that's usually more boys and girls in the trailer parks get presents from Tranny Claus. That's true. <laughs> that's true. But you know, Tranny Claus 
isn't exclusive. He likes to include everyone. So it, it. It, it, oh yeah, it <laughs> it, it uh, as long as you leave like weed, booze, any like some sort of uh, what inebriator is, like, symbol. Like since obviously it likes meth, um, <laughs> like get some like rock candy or something like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that's cheap and accessible, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, a, a tray of, like, some kind of drugs. Just, in, yeah, drugs. Drugs. I mean, not everyone's going to have a bunch of drugs laying around. Usually, uh, the parents or whoever, they leave the most drugs out. The, their kids get the most presents. Right. <laughs> and Trini Claus is a much different than Santa Claus. Yeah. In, in that Trini Claus does leave you something, but it also takes. Yes, it does. <laughs> like, whereas Santa Claus leaves you a PlayStation game, Tranny Claus might leave you a turd. <laughs> and take your TV. And take your TV. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Tranny Claus. <laughs> God damn it. Here comes Tranny Claus going down to the pawn shop. <laughs> You wake up in the morning, all your drugs are gone, there's a turd on your fucking little <laughs> red <laughs> fucking TV's gone. <Yeah. laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if you leave your doors unlocked, anytime between December 15th and January 31st, yeah. <laughs> you, you might be visited by Tranny Claus. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 45-day window. Yeah. <laughs> Trina Claus ain't working that hard. No, no, no. Trina Claus is magic. Yeah. Hey, that bitch ain't climbing down her chimneys. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming through windows and fucking front doors. <laughs> <laughs> through fucking dog doors. Yeah. <laughs> it's crawling in there. Okay, so first of all, uh, Santa Claus is North Pole, right? Yeah. So, uh, Tranny Claus has got to be South Pole. It just kind of feels like that's that's the obvious or thing, Or just right? like Tijuana, Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> South Pole. No, no, I got it. It, it is Tijuana, <laughs> and instead of reindeer, it's got mules. <laughs> like fucking donkeys. <laughs> but I, I was also thinking, like, raccoons and possums. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe, like, a donkey is, like, Rudolph. Yeah, and, and like, a sweatshop. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The elves. Mm. (laughs) Yeah. The elves are really just, like, poor Mexican children. (laughs) 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 The really, like, the story of Tranny Claus is that it's sponsored by the cartels yeah it's a way to get their product out there <laughs> so it's, it's to get people hooked yeah like it comes like with a little like christmas card <laughs> it's all just made of like heroin and shit <laughs> <laughs> for more supply visit us at <laughs> yeah yeah because have you ever got like christmas cards from people and they got like the glitter on the front mm-hmm. that's all like crack or heroin <laughs> <laughs> you like scrape it off <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> snoo a line it's like mommy and daddy Trinity Claus didn't bring me anything i can't even play my video games now it's like son it's all good they take it in the back room she's like fucking hurry up hurry up daddy they're just scraping off the card <laughs> onto a plate ready to do some fucking lines <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the 50 dollar ps4 game <laughs> and they got getting run. ready to get a new tv anyways yeah <laughs> it's like if you buy a new tv anytime within that 45 day window you have to fucking hide it yeah <laughs> <laughs> Trinity Claus isn't like it's not like a, a a nice thing. It's not like a warm thing. It's it's like a warning. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not like Trinity Claus is coming to town. It's like Trinity Claus is coming to town. Yeah. <laughs> Take <laughs> heed, <laughs> Mom. Why can't I hook up the Xbox? Because Trinity Claus is coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> can't we just lock our doors? <laughs> yeah, but. We have windows. Yeah. <laughs> Trinity Claus is magic. <laughs> if, he, if there's no rocks around, like, Trinity Claus just dives through the window because it's so fucked up on meth, it doesn't even feel the glass. 
There's blood all over the fucking <laughs> family room floor. <laughs> oh, you remember this uh, Looney Tunes where like the road or uh, the Road Runner or, the, or Kylie Wyote or whatever would like run through the wall and there'd be like the shape. Of the oh yeah, Charity <laughs> Claus. Charity Claus just comes busting in, <laughs> and it's like real world, but it still has that stupid like you know cartoon shape, <laughs> and, and it's got like huge tits and like a big dangling dick yeah. <laughs> and a meth pipe. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Charity Claus. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Here comes Santa Claus, lock all of your doors. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, I guess Santa Claus does kind of have an origin story. I was trying to think, like, what's the origin story for Tranny Claus? Santa Claus is like a German guy, and some... yeah, I th- yeah, kind of like some sort of like pagan kind of dude, or I, right, yeah, something like that. Right, um, Trinity Claus is like a Scientologist or something like that, <laughs> who got addicted to meth. And <laughs> then moved down to Tijuana. Then moved down like to it. Tijuana. Got hooked up with the cartels. Got in real deep with the cartels. Yeah, to where it's like, <laughs> yo, dude, or it, like, you've got to do this to work off your meth bill. And if you don't, then we're gonna have to kill you. <laughs> like some some brilliant person in the uh, cartel, like would, would no- notice that training claws would always wear like a red hat with like with a white ball on it. <laughs> it was like hmm, I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene in Iron Man where they're like drawing out the blueprints for the suit. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a little montage, and they're they're like constructing the suit. So is, is the suit red? I don't know. Like, what does San- uh, Tranny Claus look like? Is he a standard, like... I imagine it um, looking somewhat like the lead singer Steel Panther. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, the long blonde hair, like... And, and then, like, uh, I don't know, like, I feel like it, it's got to have, like, some really tattered clothing or something. For sure. But, I mean, I guess if the cartel's organizing it, they probably want to give them some, like, rad gear, you know? Right, right. So, so maybe, like, some flashy shit? Like, yeah. Like, it's, it's like, red, but it's, like, that shiny kind of red. It's, like, aluminum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a Coca-Cola can. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it needs some protection when it gets fucking shotgun blast when it ends up in the wrong place. But it definitely doesn't have pants on. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got, like, a thong... <laughs> that, like, you can't, it looks like a vag in the front, but if you get, like, a rare view of Tranny Claus in the back, you'll just see, like, a big fucking bulge and balls. <laughs> like, just, like, right next to the asshole. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's dick so big because of enhancements and like I don't know all the meth use I guess and it's just so so skinny like there's no food but just hangs out like it uses its fucking dick and it's enhanced dick to maybe like smack the possums and the raccoons to fucking you know Santa sleigh like when you see old school Santa just yeah like, shh, shh, you know whatever maybe like, like the like, reins maybe like the uh, the Rudolph of the group. Like, Tranny Claus just came on a, a fucking donkey, and then, like, its nose grew, like, glue, like, all red. Yeah. <laughs> or, or maybe, like, Tranny Claus came on it, and then, like, had it snort a bunch of fucking coke, and now it's got a big red nose. Or, yeah, he came... Or a big on, white nose. <laughs> he came on it, or and they were at a strip club, and a stripper rubbed its glitter all over its nose. Yeah, yeah so it's, now it's all bright and reflective. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> Tranny Claus is coming to town. <laughs> All right, so um, what other mythos is there around Santa Claus that we need to come up with? Okay, so Santa has the elves. That's right, we said sweatshop with Mexican children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, North Pole, but is he in South Pole, Tijuana, or where is he? He's I, in with the cartel. I, I like Tijuana. Yeah. I, like, I like Tijuana because that's access to the cartel, access to the drugs and the donkeys. So uh, Santa Claus has a magical gift bag. What a does, sack. A sack. <laughs> <laughs> what does Tranny Claus have? Is he like a marsupial where he can pull shit out of his scrotum? Because, you know, I kind has, of think it's like, it's, it's actual ball sack. Yeah. <laughs> like a marsupial. It's just a patch. He can just pull things out of it. <laughs> <laughs> If you're really lucky, like, it'll actually leave a testicle. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? Like, oh, that's a very special gift from Tranny Claus. 
<laughs> and when the kids wake up in the morning, it doesn't smell like hot cocoa and fucking Mm-mm. good memories. It smells like bologna and stale beer. <laughs> <laughs> and like burning plastic, like from the crack meth smell. <laughs> there's like just like snow in their living room because he busted through the window. <laughs> it, it busted through the window. <laughs> the trees fucking falling down where he fucking stumbled into. <laughs> Mommy, I don't like this tranny Claus. Nobody does, sweetie. (laughs) Tranny Claus is not a good person. (laughs) It's just something we have to start dealing with in Biden's America. (laughs) Yes. I feel like, okay, so I'm I'm getting a picture now, and it's not just, like, the blonde hair. It's, like, blonde hair with, like, pigtails. (laughs) (laughs) But I also feel like he's... It, I'm sorry, it's balding. And, like, maybe it has, like, a, a skull in. Balding with pigtails? Yeah, like, like it's bald up top. Bald with, yeah. like, like, pigtails. Yeah. Like it. <laughs> and, it, like, the, the cartel had put, like, a Santa wig on top of it. So it's got, like, blonde pigtails, but, like, a Santa wig that's just It's, like, sick. white. <laughs> but white, but really dirty. And, like, with, like, actual dirt. Like, black shit. Like, tar. And, like, yeah, and, just... and blood. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, all matted together. It's, like, a mangy dog. <laughs> Janet class is coming to town. <laughs> Lock your doors, children. We're still in the window. I feel like we're making a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, like, okay, so maybe we should make Tranny Claus like, like something good about it, something that people look forward to. Like, maybe if he ended up at a um, tit club or, I, I don't know, somewhere where the adults are at, that's where he brings, or it, I'm sorry, it. it brings wholeheartedness and love and peace and yada, yada, yada. Maybe, like, it, it goes to, um, like, dive bars on, on Christmas Eve and just, like, gives everyone drugs and buys everyone drinks. And <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, hey, it's Tranny Claus. He's like, Don't hey. come to my fucking house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. He's like, <laughs> beer's on me. It's like, bartender. It's a dive bar, so there's, like, ten people. Ten beers on me. The bartender turns around. He reaches into the tip jar, pulls it out. Or, <laughs> I keep saying he. It, 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 it reaches <laughs> into his <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, bartender. <laughs> Ten of your finest beers. It's like, come on, Tranny Claus, a dollar tip? He's like, be lucky I'm buying any beers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Just takes a shit on a bar stool. <laughs> it leaves. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta leave Tranny Claus some food, too, so he can, like, have uh, like enough food in its system to leave you a turd yeah yeah <laughs> it, it needs nutrients to continue its journey <laughs> it's 45 day trek if you don't leave it a cheeseburger and some some fries it'll take it, it it'll set your couch on fire <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, training claws <laughs> i can't wait to see the tim allen movie yeah yeah <laughs> Does it make Disney Plus or Hulu or Shutter? It's probably just the Shutter film. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Trading Claus kills Tim Allen and gets the suit. <laughs> <laughs> the full magic get up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like Santa Claus has superpowers, right? Mm. Should we give Training Claus like at least one superpower? Is it a marsupial sack, or do we give him oh, something I else? About the marsupial sack. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. He's okay. So. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe, like, Tranny Claus could fly because, like, that way it can break into apartments, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, maybe it's just, like, one of those things, like, it just pulls down its pants and then just, like, it, it, it farts, like, a continuous, like, stream to propel it up like a rocket. <laughs> it was just, like, he didn't... Or- God damn, I keep calling it he. It didn't get to finish surgery, so there's like this slit in the marsupial scrotum. So he has to duct tape its cock up on its belly. But no, because his cock is used as the rain. Mm. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All the little raccoons and possums. All right. Um, I think we're running dry. So let's let's finish with this. 
Let's name the reindeer. Let's name the mules. <laughs> the mules. Are we using mules or donkeys, coons, or... possums, and mules? Or... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's let's do a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> just, just just the variety, variety of yeah. uh, of Mexican forest animals. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's not all reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking chupacabra in there. <laughs> Come on, dancer and prancer and comet and cupid. And the most... Donner and Blitzen, Blitzen and Johnny and Stupid. <laughs> I don't know. They're all like stripper names. So here comes Diamond. <laughs> Diamond and... And um, Alexis and... Mercedes. <laughs> Mercedes and Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So are we going sh- all stripper names? we got to throw in some retarded names in there. There's Michael and Benjamin. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. Let's let's, let's do all presidents. Oh, there you go. There you go. There goes Trump and goes Biden and mm. Obama and Clinton. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Clinton is fucking Obama. He should stop that. <laughs> <laughs> and the most wonderful reindeer of all is named Louis the Tranny G. RuPaul. <laughs> oh, the Tranny RuPaul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that should be it. It should be fucking drag queens. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to, like, next year, maybe come up with a new song. Uh, and and For maybe sure. and maybe like come up with like a tranny clause like a short film of some kind. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> At least like bust out like an, a story outline for like a tranny clause movie like Miracle on 69th Street. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> or like Miracle on Martin Luther King Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but Martin Luther King Boulevard's always put in the worst fucking town. <laughs> like, the, the worst part of town. I mean, Tranny Claus is coming back to town next year. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, it obviously hits up trailer parks, right? Mm-hmm. Projects. Oh, yeah. Those are the finer establishments for Tranny Claus. Right, right. Those are the biggest scores. Yeah. If it's trying to loot, though... It's... Trying to loot, and it's also trying to do drugs. So that's true. Yeah, it's got to go where there's meth. Yeah, lots of meth. Like meth keeps it going for the forty-five days. Right. Right. Yeah. Like I feel like Claremont County is one of the hardest hit. Oh, absolutely. Like, like they, they show it on the weather forecast. Like, Cheney Claus. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like fifty-nine and sunny, like twenty-six and and snow. Tranny Claus. Tranny Claus. <laughs> Lock your door, folks. Tranny Claus has been spotted in Claremont tonight. <laughs> it's like a picture of Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've already got him as a, a fucking vampire. <laughs> <laughs> fucking in a goddamn Walmart grocery cart, and all you see is him just like going down a hill like this. <laughs> Being dragged by a bunch of forest animals. <laughs> Like the biggest assembly of fucking creatures that you never would have thought possible. <laughs> They're all trying to bite each other. <laughs> Mules, coons, coyotes, fucking possums. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. <laughs> we can't forget the chupacabra. And they're all named presidential names. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Carter, Reagan. <laughs> so here you go. On the spot. This is uh, Charlie with Channel 12 News. We just caught up with Tranny Claus. Tranny Claus, why did you name all of your sleigh animals after precedents? Uh, I was thinking... <laughs> <laughs> what are the names that represent me the most? The sleaziest <laughs> names in the world? Yeah. And... Uh, the most hateful names in the world because I hate a lot of people and I like to do drugs. <laughs> Dick Flash. <laughs> Dick Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what I have in my sack scrotum for you, Mr. Newsman. <laughs> oh, I have nothing. I'm going to steal your microphone now. <laughs> <laughs> Puts it in his scrotum. Puts his, shoves it up in it. <laughs> Hits his meth pipe. <laughs> Whacks him you all. To fucking Milford! (laughs) (laughs) To Greenbrier Trailer Park! Yeah, Greenbrier Trailer Park! (laughs) (laughs) Hang on, what's the Santa thing like in 
to all a good night or whatever. Yeah. Um, what is it? God yeah. blessings for all. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Merry Christmas to all and to all good night. Yeah, it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, so... Merry Transmas to all, and to all good drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Guy party. Guy party. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Do you have any closing uh, commentary on Tranny Claus? Oh, uh, so tr- Tranny Claus, he's built... Uh, God damn, I keep calling it he. Uh, Tranny Claus is building its mythos. Right. So. Next year, we'll just have to dive deeper. Yeah, and next year, we'll, we'll have it set up... T- to where now it is a 45 day process for Tranny Claus, but maybe we could do like on. a prequel thing where Tranny Claus went to China and got COVID <laughs> and, and brought it back to America. Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't use planes, so it's like once it broke out, we were really good about screening people at airports, but how the fuck did it get into our country? <laughs> Here goes like fucking Tranny Claus on her sleigh of retarded animals. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? That's like, before it got repossessed. You, you <laughs> flying in the air, and you look out the fucking plane window, and there's like all these fucking animals and this fucking bitch, but she's got like a rave, but it's in a grocery cart. Like, that's the sleigh. That's the sleigh in the yeah. grocery cart. Yeah. And this ridiculously big ball sack. Yeah. <laughs> with, with, also, with this, an equally ridiculously big cock whipping the animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, just like <laughs> mutant mode, man. <laughs> He's struggling to get around because of his magical ball sack. <laughs> Fucking marsupial. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking just walks into Walmart and eats skate. <laughs> like, Where's the baloney, motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing you gotta leave for Tranny Claus, obviously. Tranny Claus is part of the guy party universe now so you have to leave baloney too right yeah uh, like oh you, yeah you gotta leave baloney and drugs, drugs yeah. and uh, just something that that creature can shit out later <laughs> yeah i feel like tranny claus like the more drugs and baloney you leave him the it the less you'll get looted and i feel like there's this like promotion like certain stores like start to catch on to tranny claws <laughs> and like there's this promotion where if you turn in a tranny claws turd like best buys like did your tv get taken at christmas <laughs> did tranny claws leave you a turd in place of your tv <laughs> bring in that turd and we'll give you 10 percent off a new television <laughs> 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 it's the Friday after Christmas. It's it's referred to as Brown Friday. Brown Friday. <laughs> <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> Fuck Black Friday. <laughs> Brown Friday. <laughs> <laughs> You got all these motherfuckers coming up with, like, Home Depot buckets full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Trinity Claus took my fucking chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. It's random shit. Like, he might have got a chainsaw from one motherfucker, but he took forks and spoons from the other. <laughs> Trinity Claus just took, like, all my old pictures. I don't even understand it. They weren't good pictures. Yeah. She's like my great-grandpa. <laughs> 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 I'm never getting this back, Tranny Claus. Thanks. Yeah. But he's up in the air in his grocery cart and all his fucking mutant animals just jerking off like grandma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a little Susie. I left her a turd a hundred years ago. <laughs> he's like, these motherfuckers in California are gonna go to white Christmas. <laughs> just like a single load just falls down. <laughs> Falls right on a deer. <laughs> <laughs> or it's a child in its backyard, like, Mom, I think it's snowing! <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 the mom, like, puts her finger on it, it's, like, all sticky, like, <laughs> oh, damn, you churning claws. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> People try to shoot it down with fireworks. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> fireworks <laughs> becomes a tradition on Christmas. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Fourth of July and got shit on fucking Tranny Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's forty five days too, so you got to do forty five days worth of fireworks to try to keep Tranny Claus yeah, yeah. from fucking robbing you, <laughs> dude. The, the poor pets. Like <laughs> Leia hates fireworks. Forty five days of fireworks and gunshots. <laughs> 
fucking for forty five days, people just board up their windows and stuff. <laughs> like a hurricane. Scene. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a fucking riot scene. You just like the tranny cloth out. <laughs> it just stirs up all this fucking hate towards trans people again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just set society back fucking 30 years. It does. It's <laughs> all dead. <laughs> and that's when we need to bring in the time traveling trannies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trump reveals himself as Tranny Claus. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> stand down, Americans. <laughs> we are all one, one nation under orange. <laughs> Trump makes first contact with fucking Tranny Claus. Yeah, trying to break her deal. Yeah. It's like when he met with King John Un. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for Tranny Claus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it comes back with that. Like, Tranny Claus is doing great for our economy because you have Brown Friday now. A lot of people need to buy new products after he loots. That's right. <laughs> Out with the old and with the new. Yeah, come on, let's make America great. <laughs> so, if his secret hideout is in Tijuana, Tijuana, though, like where he stores all like the forks and knives and TVs and radio sets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the sweatshop? The sweatshop, yeah. <laughs> God damn, yeah. <laughs> uh, tranny Claus. Tranny Claus. God bless you, Tranny Claus. Oh, um, it also picks up packages. You've uh, that uh, been left at your doorstep. Yeah, the Christmas packages. <laughs> yeah, I got these for the next boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, it takes your package and it just, just like puts it on your neighbor's porch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> falls, falls through the front door. <laughs> it's like, I don't know anything from Etsy. <laughs> Keeping this shit. Yeah, like, yeah man. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this laying on our porch? You get to take a breather. Chani doesn't even fucking uh, know what it is. But it's like diabetic medication. <laughs> <laughs> or it was like something really good, like a diamond. I mean, I can't imagine diamond bracelets being shipped through the mail, but it's something like really expensive like an iPad or something where Tranny Claus could have pawned it but he just drops it off at another fucking neighbor's It will also steal your credit card if you have like in your mailbox like a new credit card. Oh yeah. Yeah, It'll steal your credit card and that's kind of how it also buys some of the presents. (laughs) (laughs) He's like I gotta feed my uh my reindeer. I mean, this is reindeers. <laughs> fucking, let's go to Burger King. <laughs> you're you're fucking, fucking 20 nuggets for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're pulling through fucking Burger King, and there's, like, all these animals fucking gathered around the dumpster just eating, like, burgers and shit. And there's this, like, disheveled-looking fucking transsexual person there, too. Yeah, just <laughs> sitting there hitting the meth pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking some really fucking cheap cigarettes. <laughs> 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 fucking bottle in a paper bag. Like, sir, uh, can I take your order? Hey, you got any shit you don't need? <laughs> <laughs> you got? You have any uh, like uh, yesterday's buns? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take all your leftover patties. <laughs> <laughs> Tranny Claus is coming to town. Yeah, get a Tranny Claus. <laughs> See, I can't wait to do the Tim Allen movie next year. Yeah. <laughs> we got That's got to be our thing. Like the fucking person that turns into Tranny Claus. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they finally like Tranny Claus gets killed. They kill him with a uh, it. Excuse me. They kill it with a firework, and it just like. <laughs> On her, onto their fucking backyard. <laughs> and it's like nothing big. It's like no mortars. It's like one of those moon travelers with report. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> 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 A little bottle rocket. Yeah. It takes out one of like uh, Washington the possum. <laughs> like, it, it like screws up the whole fucking Slayer. Right now. Clinton, make up the slack. <laughs> push, push. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just fucking. <laughs> it's a disaster. Yeah, man. Tranny Claus, baby. <laughs> All right. Guy party. Guy party. Guy party. <laughs> 
And on that note, until next Christmas time. <laughs> until next December 15th through January 31st. Yes. Tranny Kloss will be back. Tranny Kloss time. Tranny Kloss time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright. Until next year, Merry Christmas, booze heads. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, baby. Get my dick hard. <laughs> Go you better watch out Santa's not a guy If you get the pronoun wrong They'll be telling you why Tranny Claus is coming To town They're making a fist They're clinching it twice Slip it in a butthole Like you're slipping on ice <laughs> Tranny Claus is coming To town they know when you've been drinking, they know when you do drugs, and if you do both of those things, you'll be getting lots of hugs. Gay! <laughs> you better watch out, Santa's not a guy. If you get the pronoun wrong, they'll be telling you why. Tranny Claus is coming to town. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hey, man. <It's> awesome. <laughs>